In an era of remarkable technological advancements, our ancestors from the distant past might think we live in a utopia. However, when it comes to transportation, it seems like we're stuck in the past, with roads filled with cars and skies dominated by airliners. Despite the unfulfilled promises of flying cars and teleportation from 20th century science fiction, we've settled for less thrilling options like segways in the 21st century. Yet the dream of futuristic transportation lives on, and a concept called the Hyperloop is at the forefront of this vision. While it may not be as mind-blowing as a teleporter or as fantastic as a personal jetpack, the Hyperloop can transform future transportation. So what is this technology all about? Join us on this exhilarating journey into the future of transportation. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds. So, ready for the extraordinary details? Let's get started. What is a Hyperloop? The Hyperloop is an innovative transportation idea conceived by Elon Musk, the billionaire industrialist behind SpaceX and Tesla. Musk proposed the Hyperloop as a response to his dissatisfaction with the California high-speed rail system, which he deemed lackluster and potentially one of the slowest and costliest in the world. Musk envisions two massive tubes spanning from San Francisco to Los Angeles, forming the backbone of the Hyperloop concept. Passenger pods would zip along inside these tubes at speeds surpassing 700 miles per hour, creating a transportation system reminiscent of the pneumatic tubes seen in the Jetsons, but on a grander scale. In Musk's design, a one-way journey on the Hyperloop from San Francisco to Los Angeles is anticipated to take around 35 minutes, a stark contrast to the roughly 6 to 8 hours it takes by car. While not as flashy as some of Musk's other ventures, the Hyperloop promises to drastically reduce travel times and reshape how we traverse long distances. Sounds fun and all, but how does the Hyperloop tube operate? Elon Musk's vision for the Hyperloop involves passenger pods or capsules zipping through a tube, whether on the ground or underground. To achieve high speeds, magnetic accelerators strategically placed along the tube will propel the pods forward. To minimize friction, there will be pumps to remove most, though not all, of the air from the tubes. Reducing air resistance stands out as a key energy-saving measure in high-speed travel. In the airline industry, planes are sent to higher altitudes where the air is less dense. The Hyperloop mimics this effect by enclosing capsules in a reduced-pressure tube, allowing the capsules to achieve airplane-like speeds while remaining on the ground. Musk's design envisions a Hyperloop tube with air pressure approximately one-sixth that of Mars's atmosphere, a noteworthy comparison given Musk's interest in the red planet. Operating at 100 pascals, this pressure significantly decreases air drag by 1,000 times compared to sea level conditions, equivalent to the experience of flying above 150,000 feet. The Hyperloop, therefore, not only promises swift and efficient travel, but also leverages innovative engineering to overcome the challenges of air resistance. In Elon Musk's Hyperloop model, capsules gracefully hover over the tube's surface, similar to the way a puck glides above an air hockey table. Unlike traditional systems, it's the pod, not the track, that generates the air cushion, keeping the tube design simple and cost-effective. Alternatively, some variations of the Hyperloop utilize magnetic levitation instead of air skis to maintain the capsules above the tracks. These futuristic capsules receive their initial velocity from an external linear electric motor, essentially a flattened round induction motor similar to the one found in the Tesla Model S. This motor accelerates the pod to a high subsonic velocity and provides periodic boosts approximately every 70 miles. In between these boosts, the pod smoothly glides along in near vacuum. Each capsule has the capacity to accommodate 28 passengers, with other versions aiming for up to 40, along with luggage. Additionally, there's a variant designed for transporting cargo and vehicles. As for the power source, Musk envisions solar panels positioned on the top of the tube. This solar arrangement powers the Hyperloop and is designed to generate surplus energy, contributing to the system's overall sustainability in essence, the Hyperloop not only redefines transportation, but also incorporates green energy practices through solar power integration. How is the Hyperloop different from high-speed trains? Hyperloop supporters argue that it outshines high-speed trains on various fronts. 
Elon Musk has, on several occasions, claimed that it is more cost-effective and energy-efficient. One key distinction is that the Hyperloop track doesn't need to continuously provide power to the pods, contributing to lower overall costs. The ability of pods to depart every 30 seconds adds a dimension of on-demand service, enhancing efficiency. Moreover, it holds the potential to be two or three times faster than high-speed rail and ten times faster than regular rail services. Now, how much would a Hyperloop cost to build? In terms of construction costs, Elon Musk's estimation for the LA to San Francisco Hyperloop was under $6 billion. The majority of the system's cost lies in building the tube network. This includes the tube itself, pillars, vacuum pumps and stations, totaling just over $4 billion for the passenger version of Hyperloop. A slightly larger version, capable of transporting freight, would cost around $7 billion. Capsules, at approximately $1.35 million each, make up a smaller fraction of the expense, with 40 needed for the service, totaling around $54 million or $70 million for a mix of passenger and cargo capsules. In comparison, this capsule cost represents less than 9% of the proposed budget for a passenger-only high-speed rail system. Hyperloop's cost efficiency and speed advantages make it an appealing alternative to traditional high-speed rail. When considering a 20-year spread for capital costs and including operational expenses, Musk arrived at a one-way ticket cost of $20 for the passenger Hyperloop. So, for the price of a regular dinner, you could be zipping through a vacuum tube at speeds of up to 435 miles per hour, thanks to Elon Musk's generous idea. What will traveling in the Hyperloop feel like? Critics of the Hyperloop have expressed concerns about potential discomfort during travel, including nausea-inducing acceleration and lateral g-forces on bends. However, Virgin Hyperloop One, another American company working on the Hyperloop concept, assures that the journey will feel similar to riding in an elevator or a passenger plane. The acceleration and deceleration will be gradual, avoiding g-forces and turbulence typically associated with rapid travel. While travelling in a windowless pod within a concrete tube may limit scenic views, Elon Musk's initial vision included a promise of displaying beautiful landscapes inside the cabin. Passengers will also have access to their personal entertainment systems. The success of the Hyperloop remains a substantial, multi-billion dollar question. While the concept has been around for a while, recent technological advancements suggest that the technology may now align with the concept. Several well-funded companies are racing to deliver a working service, but these projects are still in the pilot and experimental stages. Transitioning from short test routes to extensive tracks poses a significant challenge yet to overcome. So, as the wheels of progress turn, the question remains. Are we on the brink of a transportation revolution where the Hyperloop leads the way? Or will challenges in technology and implementation slow down the Hyperloop's realization? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. That's all from this video. See you in the next one.